me in Mumbai and in India. I really appreciate your great welcome. Um, so I'm here to talk about my favorite subject because I think there's only two kind of people, kinds of people in the world. Those that are in retail and those that wish they were in retail. So hopefully you're in one of those two camps. That's why you're in this room. Um, and um, this picture behind me kind of really symbolizes a lot of what happens in retail and what's necessary in retail. I don't know if any of you recognize this internationally famous uh, artist. Um, but it's an urban artist out of UK. His name is Banksy. And, you know, he stealthily puts his work out and around um, uh, London and various uh, different cities. And it's, it's perfect because this particular famous piece, you know within a few seconds it's about hope. The red color attracts you. It's at eye level because it's, it's in an urban jungle. And people, there's footfall and there's, you know, traffic going through, but you see it right away, and you don't even have to read the words hope on the side to understand what it's all about. And that's what, what I love to do, that's what I'm all about uh, in what I do with FCB Red, which is um, the company that I'm from, and hopefully this will work, but if it doesn't, I'll do it myself. There we go. Um, so FCB Red stands for Retail, Engagement, and Digital. It's basically the retail and engagement practice of Foot Cone Belding, one of the global communications agencies. Um, so I get to do all the things I love to do, which is uh, go around the world, but also spend a lot of time in North America really doing a lot of shopper safaris and understanding what makes shoppers tick. We exist to change behavior. And basically, that's what we do when we talk about shoppers. It can't just be about attitudes anymore. It has to be about behavior change. Because shoppers all around the world have changed their behaviors so much in the last few years. They channel shift, right? They have online expectations in an offline world. And I can go on and on. A lot of the things that you probably know so well. So that's why I wanted to talk about retail engagement in what I like to say is an age of distraction. So let's talk a little bit about the shopper, then I'll show you why I'm calling it the age of distraction. Then I've got some things that I think might, might help. So shoppers are consumers with a need to buy. They are task-oriented, they have an immediate need, or they're on a mission. All the things, they're very different than consumers because shoppers can fail where consumers can't fail. A shopper can fail. You know, shopping is the number one leisure activity of the world. But many people, it's a frustration, not a leisure activity. So when we look at shoppers, we look at what do they want. And today they want very different things. They want a very connected experience. They want sharing. You know, it's not just about the likes. It's about the sharing. Um, it's about really having value. It's about that perfect match often. Um, it's about infotainment. It's not only about, value doesn't mean just discount. It's about educate me, be transparent, give me some value beyond just the price and the product, right? Um, and then, of, of course, as I said, the seamless experience. So you remember the decision journey used to be very funnel-like, and right now it's almost, uh, I don't know, it looks like clay. But basically, you, 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 if that was a train, that would, we would be in trouble, right? Um, but there's so many ways that people can learn, turn left or right to make that immediate purchase. Uh, or take a longer track and do a lot of searching online, ask friends, etc. And then it's convoluted because not only do you search, you have a catalog, or you visit a store, or um, you review. Now you can review your star ratings. You know, many times in the U.S. they'll say, well, how's your product doing? Well, how many stars does it have on Amazon? It's not even that you buy it on Amazon, that you have a number of stars on Amazon. So again, it's a very convoluted and what we call this ecosystem of shopping is now all omnichannel. So the shopping moment can be any moment. And that's very scary for retailers, I think, especially traditional retailers. So let's look at what shopping behaviors matter most for retailers today. It is a wherever, whenever, you know, obviously certain Markets, whether they be Western or otherwise, are a little bit more um, advanced. But right here in India, the mobile phone 
the way it's skyrocketing in terms of e-tailing, it's, it's amazing. Um, and then obviously everything is through a mobile lens. And when you market, you need to put that mobile lens. And that's one of the challenges in your own organizations. Because usually you have someone that's handling the brand, someone's that's handling digital, someone's handling shopper, someone's handling sales. And all these things have to now come together simultaneously and be developed from a zero base. Because if you do it sequentially, you will lose. The mobile is not the last thing you do. It's the first lens you use when you create your marketing. 